Last week, Chipotle released their queso, much to everyone's weight and excitement, and I was really excited to try it. And so we decided what better way to try it than to compare them versus some of the other nationally known quesos. So we got Taco Bell, Fuzzies, Qdoba, and Chipotle, and we're gonna try them all out right now. We're gonna put them against each other. A quest for queso, if you will. <laughs> Thanks, Hannah. Okay, so let's put this to the test. We also don't know which one these are, and so... I need a little bit more on my trip. This is too, like, nacho-y. Like, it doesn't have any zest to it. There aren't any, like, peppers or it's vegetables like, or It's just, like, it's just... It's like cheese. It tastes more like a mac and cheese cheese, really. It's not bad, but, like... It's kind of throwing me off because it looks like mayonnaise. It's not... It does kind of... It looks like mayo. Do you see that? That's mayo right there. That's mayo. If I had to give this a guess, I'd say maybe this is Taco Bell. I would say like, like, like a, a six and a half. I'd say like a soft six. A soft six. A soft like six. I'd eat it. I'd eat it, definitely, but I don't want mayo as my queso. <laughs> right. Thanks, Hannah. Okay. This, this one's got that yellow, like the orangey yellow. It looks like cheese whiz. It looks like spray cheese, honestly. Like someone just was like, Shh. And then fill it up a little bit. I know, maybe it's good. I don't see any peppers, see. but it looks nice. This is the nacho cheese that you get in fourth grade in the cafeteria. I couldn't even taste have, it. have like a scoop of jalapenos on the side. There's like no flavor to it. I don't like this one. No. There's like a little hint of jalapeno, but it has a nice tiny zest at the end, but that's it. I don't know, maybe this one's Taco Bell. I think it might be. Can we change our answers? We think the, what do you think the first one was then? Probably Fuzzies then. Fuzzies. And this is this Taco is, Bell. This is definitely Taco Bell. This is Taco Bell. Again, this one has the magic Not lip going effect. anywhere. Magic lip effect. I'd say I'd give this one like a four out of Yeah, I was gonna honestly. say four. On to the next. Thanks, yeah, it's really thick. Like, look at that. That's staying in there. That's not moving. And there are also, this is more of a traditional queso color. It has a nice orange yellow cheese. And there's a little bit of peppers. It looks really nice, really. It's a quality looking queso, but man, that's thick. The flavors are right there in the initial bite. Like, the first bite is all cheese. But then as it slowly evolves, like then you get the zest of the peppers and it like, it settles and it's, it's not bad. I don't like the texture though. Mm -mm. It feels like refried beans in my mouth. It's Doesn't like, it? queso is a refried bean. I like that. Mm -hmm. It's not bad. I like it better than the last one. Seven out of 10. I do. I do think this is better. I'd give this a nice seven out of 10. And I think this one might be Chipotle. You think this is Chipotle? Probably. Okay. Thank you, Hannah. This one looks like your traditional case though. Mm -hmm. It is a little bit more wiggly than the rest. I don't want to flip this one. Like, this no, it'll like, fall. You can see the tilt. It's ready to spill. Um, it's ready to be built to spill. You can see the peppers. You can see the seasoning. Beautiful. I feel like this is the case so that dreams are made of. And it's a nice, it's a nice warm hug. It's the perfect combination of cheesy and spicy. I do wish it was a little bit more spicy, but I like it. Mm -hmm. Personally, I would give this queso an eight out of 10. Eight and a half. There we go. So this one, you think this one's Qdoba? Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh! Wow. Let's eat some more.